What is cell layout? Advantage and disadvantage of cell layout. Welcome to our discussion on cell layouts. You may ask, what is a cell layout? Well, in the field of manufacturing, a cell layout refers to the arrangement of machines or workstations that are grouped together to produce a specific type of product. Cell is the location of processing steps for a product immediately adjacent to each other so that parts, documents, etc., can be processed in very nearly continuous flow, either one at a time or in small batch sizes that are maintained through the complete sequence of processing steps. The concept of cell layout is an integral part of lean manufacturing. It's a strategy that seeks to minimize waste while optimizing productivity. By grouping machines or workstations together, cell layout allows for smooth workflow and efficient use of resources. One of the primary advantages of cell layout is increased efficiency. Since machines or workstations are grouped according to the type of product they produce, it minimizes movement and handling of materials. This results in faster production times and reduced waste. Another advantage is improved communication and teamwork. In a cell layout, workers are usually grouped together as well. This promotes better interaction among workers and facilitates quick problem solving and decision making. Cell layout also leads to increased flexibility. By grouping equipment based on product type, it becomes easier to adjust the production process as needed. This can be hugely beneficial in industries where product demand is unpredictable or frequently changes. But like any other strategy, cell layout is not without its disadvantages. One primary disadvantage is the high initial cost. Setting up a cell layout requires significant investment, especially if it involves purchasing new equipment or renovating existing facilities. Another disadvantage is the dependence on multi-skilled workers. Since each cell is responsible for producing a complete product, workers within the cell must be capable of operating all the equipment in the cell. This may require comprehensive training and can potentially lead to a shortage of skilled workers. Cell layout may also lead to idle equipment. If a cell is specialized to produce a specific product, the equipment within that cell may not be used if there is no demand for the product. This could result in wasted resources and lower return on investment. In conclusion, Cell layout is a strategy that offers several benefits, including increased efficiency, improved communication, and flexibility. However, it also has its drawbacks, such as high initial cost, the need for multi-skilled workers, and the potential for idle equipment. As with any business strategy, the decision to adopt a cell layout should be based on a thorough analysis of the company's needs and capabilities. It's about finding the right balance between maximizing productivity and minimizing waste, while also considering the unique characteristics and requirements of your business. Thank you for joining us today in this discussion about cell layout. We hope you found it informative and helpful in understanding this key concept in manufacturing.